Hi guys, tonight Zoe and I have a special surprise for you. We're actually in my house where I'm going to show you some of my pets that I keep in my living room. So, these little suckers are, um, we've got some poison dart frogs here. These are Dendrobates Jurius. Got a couple tanks here. So, um, I do culture my own fruit flies. So I'm just going to dump some bugs in here and then let them come out so you can see them. So I'm just going to hold this out and let you guys pan in. Um, culturing fruit flies is very easy. Um, I recommend it to anybody that is trying to raise such a delicate species because these do need to eat every single day. Um, as I said, Dendrobates azureus is a species of poison dart frog found in the forests in Suriname and Brazil. Uh, they're widely known. The common name is the blue poison dart frog. Um, and they're called azureus because they're blue with, um, you know, in a lot of languages, azure is, is blue. So this little frog is a medium-sized dart frog that has a typical lifespan of uh, four to six years in the wild. It's bright blue skin, serves as a warning to predators, and its coloration is usually darker around its limbs and the stomach. The poison glands or alkaloids are located in the skin and serve as a defense mechanism to predators. Uh, their poisons actually paralyze and kill some of the predators, but um, they actually lose toxici toxicity in captivity. Um, one thing I think is cool is the black spots are unique to each frog, uh, like a giraffe or a leopard. And you can actually, once you get to know your frogs, uh, start to tell them apart. And then they also vary in size a little bit too. Each of their feet contain four toes, which have a flattened tip with a suction cup. So they actually can, uh, you know, grip onto the walls if, if they want to. And uh, this species is also identified by their kind of hunchback posture. Uh, the physical appearance of these frogs differs with the sex of the animals. The females are usually larger and longer than the males, but the males have larger toes. The tips of the toes and the females are round, and the males have heart-shaped tips. So you can see these guys are really coming out here. i got a little colony going. I'm hoping to breed these guys. Um, as far as these frogs, I keep my dart frogs in planted tanks with full spectrum LED light and an automated mister. The base of this tank is layered with fired clay pellets covered by screen and then soil on top of that and then obviously uh, with plants. You, you do need to research your plants and make sure that you're not going to kill your frogs. Um, and I had a big beautiful bromeliad but it just grew too big and uh, it was all red and pretty but I had to trim everything way back but it's still pretty awesome and my frogs are really happy in there. So these guys need to be kept at about 76 and um, yeah so those are a couple of my frogs. I don't do a lot of frogs. I, um, I've done um, red-eyed tree frogs and just a few species, but I do like the poison dart frogs. So um, those are my dendrobates. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.